Two Soviet ships collided in the Black Sea off the coast of Russia in 1986, resulting in mass casualties. An investigation revealed that the crash was not caused by mechanical failure or weather conditions. It was the result of pride. Both captains knew of the other ship's presence and could have easily steered clear, but neither would yield. A lack of humility cost hundreds of people their lives. Humility is the foundational characteristic of a Christian. It is an indispensable quality from which all virtue springs. That's why the New Testament puts such emphasis on humility. Humility is lowliness of mind. It refers to one who has a modest opinion of himself. This doesn't mean he has a poor opinion of himself, but a proper opinion of himself. He does not think more highly of himself than he ought to think. Romans 12, verse 3. Humility is the opposite of arrogance or pride. Humility puts God first, others second, and self last. This selfless disposition comes about by recognizing our own unworthiness. Humility was a despised characteristic in the ancient world. The Greeks and Romans viewed it as weakness. In fact, William Barclay wrote, In Greek, there is no word for humility which has not some suggestion of meanness attaching to it. Jesus, however, challenged that view. He extolled humility as an essential characteristic for pleasing God. He even began what is perhaps the greatest sermon ever preached, the Sermon on the Mount, with a call to humility. Matthew 5, verse 3. My friends, please understand, pride sinks ships.